Rashonda in the building. So, look, man, we're just going to jump right into it. So, let's let's talk about the uh, the post. Uh, you you made a post in the in the she trucking trucking group. Shout out to the uh, she trucking trucking group. Oh yeah, <laughs> and um, you you just started with this company, and by the looks of the post, you're you're sounding like you're flatbedding. Yeah, flatbed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You you want to name the name the flatbed company, nah, or you want to keep that confidential? I'm okay, gonna keep, no. I'm gonna work with them, so I can't do that. Okay, that's that's not a problem, and we can we can keep the other parties' names out of it either. But uh, unfortunately, you you having a little issue uh, uh, training. So let's start by uh, how how has it been so far? At first, taking off, it was. I thought it was going to be okay, all right? Even though I'm a new trainer. It shouldn't take a new trainer and somebody that said they've been on the road four to 50 years to scrap a load down take four hours. I'm sorry, it shouldn't. And I'm new, and I mean, not scrapping a load down was something new to me, but I uh, explain it to me. I'm hands-on learner. Explain it to me, and I could do it. Everything I did was wrong. No, all we'll right, do it that so way. Turn now, it this way. Do now it you, that way. Now, you mentioned that you said that it took four hours. Do you think... It should take uh, four no. hours being that, being that you're a new trainer and she just wanted to make no. sure that you know everything? No. 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 Okay. 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 Two hours? Maybe. Four hours? Come on now. Ask anybody that's flat bed. Whether they got a trainer or not, it ain't going to take four hours to scrap a load. You ain't putting but scraps and chains on. I could. I, I'm not a flat better, but I'm. I'm going to assume it takes uh, a little to make sure that everything's secure before you guys hit the road. And still got to stop in between first fifty miles. You're going to stop. You're going to check your load, make sure it's still secure. All of it. All right. Now we get past that. Now, when I first got it, before I got in the truck with her, hey, what you think I need to bring, and how long we going to be out? Oh, just bring about three pair of pants. I wear my pants. Two, three times. I shower maybe once out of a week. Oh, don't. I shower every day. So you mean to tell me we ain't going to be showering on the road? Nah, you, hey, once you get into this trucking, man, that, that shower is much of a much more of a luxury than a necessity. I'm just saying. Better go ahead and I will hook up. pay for a shower every hey. day. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm a woman. Nah, woman. Uh, nah, woman. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you, 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 you in a whole Unless new ball you game. Unless you stuck somewhere. Unless you stuck somewhere, and that's understandable. But if you parking at a truck stop, there's no reason why you shouldn't show. Mm, okay, now. Oh, okay, okay. I, hey, uh, you, you got me on that one. You got me on that one because a lot of times, a lot of times we out here don't don't even park at truck stops. So we got we got to load we got to load up on our baby uh on our uh on our uh little baby wipes. That's what I'm saying. I, and that I know that too. I do understand that too. Okay, okay. But that's... if you 10 15 minutes from a truck stop and you intentionally stop at the people at your load where you finna unload it, oh well, no, I'm just going to stop. I got food on me. Oh, we doing it like that, huh? Oh, okay. That was I got I got food on me too, but I'm a woman, and this this place got cameras. I'm not gonna squat in their parking lot and piss in their parking lot in front of their camera. All right. So you you said that uh, you say you feel she was a little bit vindictive to you. How how's that? That's that's what I'm talking about. Like, okay, she intentionally pulled what we finna unload it in the morning. Instead of going to the truck stop, cause she got food, she ain't worried about. I got food, but you got a trainer in the truck with you too, so you're not the only person in this truck no more. Right, you got to put some type of consideration for the other person in there. C correct. Now you understand me. Okay, that's... but it wasn't none of that. Then okay, like you said, put some consideration. We stopped at one of the loaders. I, I ain't mind this loader because. The bathroom, the store that was across the street was a 24-hour store. So, okay, if I want to go in there, wash my face, get a towel, wash up, brush my teeth, wash my face, I can do that over there. 24-hour store. Mind you, I say, it's a 24-hour store. If I could get up and go across there and use the bathroom, so can you. You got a porta potty. You sit on that porta potty. 
you use the bathroom in this porta potty, and I ain't talking about peeing. Close the porta potty down, and we ride three days with this in the truck. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute. That's that's just plain nasty. She she don't. It sounds like you sound like you you hooked up with a with, with, with a runner pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Them the type of them them the type of uh trainer slash drivers that that only cares. Ain't about, got family at home and just gonna run that road. They yeah. ain't got nobody but them and probably a pet and they gonna run the road. So I should have never been hooked up with her in the beginning because I got kids at home. My youngest is five. So I'm gonna run mines and I'm gonna get on back to my children. Okay, so, so I should have been mad with somebody wait, like that. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's get back to the using the bathroom and leaving it in there for three days. What's up with that? Don't don't she use I, the bathroom and, dis, like, hey. and discard of the and, and discard of the of, of the remains? Like you know, you 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 go in the bag. You just take the bag what out bag? and just throw it. Wasn't it wasn't no bag. No, no, we didn't do it in a bag. That would have been logical to do it in a bag. But no, that's what I'm saying. You said she got a little porta potty in in but in in the back, and and that's another thing. Another thing to put in consideration for other people, especially if you're training, if you're using the porta potty in the back. And I understand, you know, because there's a lot of places. Uh, that you get to that don't even allow you to use the bathroom or don't have any accommodations for us to use the bathroom. So that will be the only alternative is to get like a little, you know, put together porta potty, kitty litter, and all right. of that. Correct. Right. So you mean to tell me that I mean she go back there, uses it, and and just let it I'm linger sleep. for three I don't days? Even, I'm, I'm sleep. I don't even know she used it. When I wake up, she's like. Last night I had to use potty. Okay, that's fine. All right, we get on down the road. It's getting hot in the truck. You know we got the heat on. We way way up north. Mmm, stank up in here. Yeah, it do I? And I, I it, it stinks pretty bad. I need to put some Fabuloso in here. Okay, whoa, the Fabuloso whoa, whoa, going there, but wait, 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 wait. She's in the driver's in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat, going like, yeah, maybe I should go. Shouldn't you already have that? Like spray Call that. Wet. Beforehand, like or after, spray hand, it. like spray. Let me tell you something. Hand, dogs use hell? it in the woods, right? Dogs use it in the woods, correct? You could have took it, dumped it in the woods, turned around and came on back, washed out, put it back in there, and everything would have been good. Right. We we close the top that we close the top down and roll three days. Close the after top. the second day, man. Close it was so stinky. Wait, 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 wait. Close the top. I had a headache every single day. Close the top and roll with it for three days. Three days. No, you don't do that, man. That's, that's, I hate to say this. Unless you like driving by yourself and you're used to it. And I understand some people is used to their own stank. I mean, you know, we be in the bathroom and shit and we used to our own stank. But trying to get used to other people's stank ain't going to work. That's just right. that's just bad hygiene right there, man. You gonna take that baby diaper and throw it and, uh, and dispose of it too, right? You ain't gonna sit it in your room. You're three not days. gonna let it in the room for three. Exactly, exactly. So you should just for for at least for respect for the other person, man. You could have just at least took it out, dump it in the trash, took it in the woods, or whatever the case, man. But you don't just leave it in there. You know, while the boat and and you, just, and you just talking, mm, yeah, that's kind of stink. Maybe I should throw some Febreze over there. Hell no, yo, get that shit. Second out day, who this truck stink? Yeah, you think? Come on, let's dump this. I can't dump this. Why you can't? You can't put it at a truck stop, man. You see yes, all these you boys? You see here? all? You see all it? But I, I guess if we us men could put motherfucking piss bottles in the motherfucking garbage can. I'm sure you could put a shit bag in a garbage can. Come on now. Or a dumpster. Come on now. It ain't nowhere near close to the building. Come on now. Just tie that shit down. Tie it down and just toss it in there. Nobody wouldn't even know the war uh, know the better if it's in there now because everything else stinks in that motherfucker too. Come on. So, and in he or she defense, and I'm not gonna say if it's a he or she, in he or she defense. Good so, trainer. I feel like I can learn a lot. But so, when I have to live in nasty conditions for eight whole weeks, 
I can't do it. Nah, I can't. You, nah, you uh, is was there at some point that you kind of like, kind of like pulled her to the side and say, "Look, man, you know we're gonna be in here for eight weeks. I feel that I can learn a lot from you, but we're gonna have to come to some type of compromise." What was was that conversation had between y'all? It two? wasn't never compromising with nobody. I don't look my age. I ain't gonna speak my age, but I don't look my age. I look like I'm about. I'm going to say in, in my early 20s. So, you know, somebody that looked like that, gonna, they feel like they can push them over. I ain't never been a pushover in my life. I'm not going to sit and accept bull crap. I'm sorry, I'm not. So I'm going to speak on it. But every time I spoke on it, it was an excuse. For why we can't, or why we ain't, or just shut up, Roshonda. Shut up. You talk to your cheer in that way. I ain't your cheer. Okay, so we so if there's not going to be no compromise with Shonda, then I, I mean, I my only advice is to say, hey, look, I, you know, I I really feel I can learn a lot from you, and us being and women, said that too. us us being women, you know, we need to respect one another as women, and as uh, you know, we, we're not, uh, you know. We're not partners. You're 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 my trainer. You're I'm the trainee. I'm here to learn, and I feel that I can learn a lot from you. But come on, man, we 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 gonna have to live in this mud too. So there's gonna have to be some type of decorum, right? Correct. Man, that's woo. That's crazy. Okay, so. Uh, you, you, you went out with a weak water. You, you know, it's the condition and by the sounds of it, I don't think the conditions is getting any better. So have you reached out to your fleet manager or, or driver manager and just yeah, say, Yeah, hey, I did. I did. I informed them. What, what, um, what, what was actions the Actions are being taken. Actions are being taken. But, you know, I mean, I'm almost. A little over 900 miles away. So, I mean, what can you do? But drop your load and go back in. So you only, so wait, you 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 got 900 miles to go to complete or 900 miles to get back to the terminal? 900 to drop the last one, pick up the next one, and head back to the terminal. Okay, okay. So I, I guess we just going to have to, I guess we just going to have to, Go, agree to disagree. Yeah, agree to disagree. Go get a mask and uh, and try to roll this last nine hundred out so you can get back to the terminal and uh, Man, switch when I up. Tell you, I was scared to open my mouth and drink some water. I was scared to open my mouth and drink water. Damn, it was that bad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's just that that's just plum nasty. I'm telling, I done had a headache for the last four days. I mean, pounding headache, and I get migraines. So it'd be like, it'd be so bad that I, I my vision be blurry. And I mean, dang, come on. Did you, now let me ask you this, Rashonda, before you go, because I know you're giving me a little bit of time, and I do appreciate it. But did you, um, what, what, what made you get into trucking in the first place, in particular flatbed? What, what, made, you, what made you choose that route? I've been around truckers forever. I always wanted to do it. Coming from a education stand, I don't know, a kid. I was that's where I came from, kids. So I just, I, okay, what better time? I got time to go to school and do it. What better time now? How's your How's your family? Might as well get on up and do it. How How's your family uh, taking it? Because you you did say you got some small kids, and I think you said your youngest is five. Mm-hmm. So how how's your how how's your family take it? In my it? children was my biggest cheerleaders in this whole ordeal. When I say they was game for it, they was game for it. So if and I'm a single mom, so if any nobody else mattered but my children. So if they was okay with it, mama do it. Y'all, mama passed her test. Yay! I mean, they cheered, brought tears to my eyes. I mean, if they cheer for me, they want me to do it. I'm gonna do it. It's not just for me. It's for them. It's for us. So you, uh, so you decided to get into it, and of course, you got small kids as young as five. Uh, who's who? And you're and you're out over the road. So there's going to be a you know there's going to be another 
uh, another thing that's on on top of your plate. Who's there? Who's there for your support of the kids while you're out? Their auntie. Their auntie. Their auntie. Big up to her. All right. Big up to her. Yeah. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, with Shonda, thank you very much for coming on. I really do appreciate it, man. Um, you can definitely, uh, you know, you can definitely yeah. holler at me anytime you want. Um, I do appreciate you taking the time out to uh, chop it up with me to, you know, get this off your chest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, get this off your chest. So I really do appreciate that. Um, definitely stay safe out there. And, you know, hopefully y'all can come to some type of common ground, you know, maybe maybe even before y'all even get back to the to the terminal. But oh, so hopefully I'm you not can, a mean person. I right. get along with anybody. Well yeah, thank you for having me. Hey, not a problem. Not a problem, driver. Yeah. Thank you for coming on and I appreciate the time. All righty. All right, you stay safe out there. Oh.